I just pulled over and thought I would make a really quick video. Uh, I just got done uh, filming three videos this morning and that's about all I can film in a day. Uh, really, it's mentally exhausting. Um, all of the detail and then if you do too many, they kind of bleed into one another. So you don't want to mess up the details. Um, I get tongue tied and my brain just turns to mush. I think it's age. I used to be able to multitask like crazy um, anymore, just based on my age and my hormones and all of that. I think uh, multitasking is off of the table for a while. <laughs> I know I've got to be very patient with myself. Um, so I just got done with filming and I thought I would love to have a coffee. That's kind of my reward for uh, getting done with all of that. Um, I love espresso but it's not always practical to have an espresso shot and I don't have an espresso machine at home. Um, so I drive through either Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts, those are the two that we have in town, um, and get an Americana, which is basically just watered down espresso. Oh, it's so sippable. It's got that toasty, nutty flavor, but yet it's not quite as strong as a straight espresso. And it's just a super, good treat. Um, I'm getting notifications, so you'll see me try to roll up on those a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go back home and I'm going to start to edit. There's a lot of new stuff coming out. I cannot believe all of the new releases that are that are happening. Um, let me take my glasses off. Um, Envy. Envy is coming out with 15 new styles. They have five fully synthetic five Envy hair, which is a human hair synthetic blend. And then they have five toppers that are being released as well. So that launch date, I believe is October 1st, and we will have some reviews ready to go on that date. Um, some of the review teams. So you'll see them on my channel. You'll see them on the Wig Studio One channel. So be sure to tune in. There's some really cute ones. Envy has not come out with some new styles in a very long time. I think COVID has really put the damper on a lot of the new styles. Um, except for Beltrass. Beltrass boomed last year uh, despite supply chain issues and things like that. And then um, I don't think John Renault did anything last year. Envy didn't do anything last year. Uh, Hair You Wear, which is Raquel Welch Gabor, they did some and so did Renee of Paris, but it just hasn't been the same. So I am really looking forward to this. Um, so Envy has a release coming up in October. I know there's some new styles coming uh, from Ellen Villa. That'll be exciting. And then um, I think Noriko has a couple coming out and then John Renault a little bit later. So we've got a lot of new styles coming out. It's always so exciting, isn't it? And I know you want to faint when you see the price tag sometimes, <laughs> but, but you know, if it's a really special piece, uh, some of those are really worth the investment for sure. I know prices just continue to go up and up. Uh, most of these wigs are made overseas and the price uh, to ship them and so forth is going up. Uh, materials uh, are going up. I mean, these wig companies have really had to scramble like everybody else um, that produces a product uh, over the last couple of years. Um, so it's just always fun to get into the new style season. And fall is just fun as well. I have a video coming out that is um, a fall color tour. Um, wigs that I have in my collection that are fun. They're more vibrant reds and brunettes and stuff and, you know, spicy colors. So I'm going to do a showcase of my fall colors, which I think will be really fun. Um, and then I'm probably going to part with them because I, I really have made a pact with myself not to hoard wigs. If I, if I haven't worn them, if I don't plan to wear them or I'm not sure, um, I have to sell them. I have to sell them because if not, they'll just continue to grow up around me. Uh, exciting news. And I have a video coming out on this with a, uh, with a giveaway, with a fun giveaway. Um, so exciting news. My son, my youngest son has moved out. It's been a couple months now. He moved out. He's living at the Capitol, which is Columbus. And uh, he and his girlfriend are living together there. 
he has a job at the Ohio State University in their computer department, and then she is an RN uh, at one of the local hospitals. Um, so, you know, they're they're very young, but they're educated, and they just they just have it all together. Um, so that's exciting. But to to try to cut this story short, that left us with a spare bedroom. So my husband moved into that bedroom so that I could have the room that he was sleeping in, um, I can have as a dedicated studio. So my husband and I haven't slept in the same room for, I would say maybe four or five years because he snores and I have insomnia. So if you drop a pin in my house at night, I'm awake for hours. Um, and so it was just more healthy for me and you know what? He doesn't feel kicked out. <laughs> he doesn't feel kicked out because he really admits too that he probably gets better sleep um, without me in the bed. So uh, we each have our own bedroom now and then I have a dedicated studio. So I have my, uh, my camera set up, ready to roll. My lighting is all set up. So I used to have to tear down my set every time I would film and that took an extra hour on either side of filming, the front and the at the end. Um, so all I have to do now is go on, go in and flip a switch and hit the, hit the go button and I'm filming. It's been unbelievable. I never realized how much of a chore it was to tear down my set every single time. So Anyway, I'm just really thrilled about it. I feel really blessed. Um, it has helped soften my empty nest syndrome feelings. <laughs> um, when your last child leaves the home, it takes a while for it to set in. You think you want that. You think that that's ultimately the goal for everybody. And you, you don't realize how much of an emotional toll that can take on you. And then now when there's no kids in the house what do I do with this sense of duty you know this this motherly sense of duty um, it's diff it's been difficult but it's normal and natural and I'm so proud of my sons and I want them to blossom and be their own people and I wouldn't dare stand in the way of that but I just have to come to reconcile with some of these these feelings of you know getting older kind of turning the page and entering a new chapter in life um, you know, it's a challenge. It, it really is. And I think we can, we can really underestimate that until it's upon us. Um, so the fact that I have a new wig, dedicated wig studio, filming studio has helped soften that a bit. Like I don't feel so guilty. <laughs> it's not like I kicked him out so I could have a wig studio, right? You do what you have to do. Um, Years ago, we built this huge house, a big in-ground pool we put in and, you know, decks and, you know, it just was spectacular. However, when I was in the financial, worked in the financial industry after 2008, I really saw the writing on the wall that within the next two years, my oldest son would have graduated high school and would, would be going off to the military and then my youngest son would still have five years of pr primary school left um, before he started college. Um, so my, my, my needs for space were gonna change and I just felt like I needed to shed some of the heavy clothing, which was the debts, you know. So we sold that house and bought what we call our Goldilocks house, which was not too small, not too big, kind of just right. Um, and eliminated our mortgage debt because we sold the other house. And um, 
I, we immediately sensed some relief and because we wanted to save more for retirement, uh, this was definitely a good move for us. And when I started to work from home though, the house became very small again, especially when I started doing wig reviews. The wigs took over, the filming stuff took over. And so I really, I sometimes really wish that we would have uh, kept that old house Although I think it was still too big, even with, especially now with just my, me and my husband. Um, but I sure could have done with that space, the space, all the space and extra bedrooms that we had. That was really, that would have really been nice. But anyway, I digress. You know, it, everything happens for a reason. And I'm quite blessed and thankful that we're in a position that we are in. Um, so that's where we are, we are at. Uh, I'm an, em an empty nester. You know, there's always a chance that they'll come home and the door is always open. But I'm really excited for their for their next step in their life. And me too, me too. I get to reinvent myself, which is kind of cool. Because when you don't have the children that you're constantly watching and making sure that they're, uh, they're taken care of um, and their needs are met, you can start to focus on yourself a little bit more and who knows what that will bring, right? My, my oldest son is still in the Air Force. He has not yet been discharged, but it is coming. He, um, he has recovered to the fullest extent from his, his injuries from that motorcycle accident. It's been two years now. And um, he still has a lot of pain in his hip and knee despite physical therapy over the past couple of years. So the are now to the point where they've brought him up to optimal health, the best possible health, and they will be putting his file in front of the medical board, which the doctors are saying, you know, there's just no way he's gonna get a waiver to, to continue in the Air Force with all the medical issues that he has. Um, so he will be discharged on a medical discharge. Now I hope, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this comes with some sort of permanent disability from the military. And uh, nobody knows how much or anything else, but he's gonna be able to start the next chapter of his life probably within the next six to 12 months. Um, he has a girlfriend in Georgia and they have been dating for maybe eight months. And this is his first real serious girlfriend. So I don't expect him to want to come back to Ohio where we live. Um, I expect him to want to stay down there and he'll have to find civilian type employment or even work on base or something. So he's not too worried about it. Um, you know, those are just worries that I have because I know how tough it can be financially for a young man, a young woman, or any youngster like that. A youngster. Gosh, he's 28. <laughs> so he's not a youngster anymore. Um, but his girlfriend has a, a little boy, and, and he is two and a half years old. Um, and he is terror, <laughs> I guess, according to my son. Anyway, I have met him. I have met him once and he was well behaved at that time, but I'm sure that, you know, this is just how little boys are. Um, so it's kind of exciting to see my kids kind of blossom into their own people, right? Uh, what else is new? Oh, scams. Please watch out for the scams that are out there right now. Uh, these are not going away guys. There is nothing I can do. They found a way to scrub off my watermarks and some of them use my my videos and photos with the watermarks. Can you believe this? So there it says Taz's wig closet at Wig Studio One watermark and they're using it anyway. I just, the only thing I can think of is that the consumer needs to pay attention. Um, I still get angry people that said that they bought a wig from me and it's a, it's, going in the trash and that always makes me feel terrible um, because I know that I'm not endorsing these people and I've done everything I can to um, thwart their thieving behavior with watermarks and I report them I know you guys do too so spreading the word and just being aware I think is the most important thing if it sounds too good to be true if the price sounds too good to be true it is 
report them when you can. Um, I have a dedicated Facebook page to scams. So if you wanna screenshot the scam and, and post it in my, on my Facebook page, the Facebook page is not moderated, guys. I don't, I very rarely visit Facebook. Facebook to me is part of the problem with these scams. These scams that are circulating, the only reason they're allowed to continue is because Facebook is making a profit off of the ads that they're placing. Um, and then they make you jump through hoops of fire to report the things and because you have to go in and you have to you have to put your content, match it up to the stolen content. It's it's ridiculous what Facebook and YouTube and all these, these other social media platforms make you do to prove that somebody stole your content. Um, so they're just not doing enough in my opinion. I stay away from Facebook. I cannot advocate for it at all. Um, now there are some private Facebook groups Wig Studio One, Wig and Topper Support Group. It was amazing. I think there's 17,000 ladies in that group. It's a private group where you have to uh, request access and, and be approved. There are rules and guidelines associated with it, but there's just no better place to commune with your wig sisters and talk about wigs. And it's much more, um, the Facebook platform is, it, it turns more quickly. It's uh, it's more fluid and dynamic than say YouTube because on YouTube you can leave a comment and I can respond to a comment, but it isn't like a chat. Um, it's not like a forum type. So I would urge you guys to go out and take a look if you're not already a member of the, the Facebook Wig and Wig Studio One Wig and, and Wig and Topper Support Group. It's an amazing place to be. Um, We've got some great moderators in there and it's it's a safe place to be. It's an educational place to be. But as far as Facebook goes, just be aware, if you are on the platform at all, you are subject to getting these fake wig ads. So all you have to do is click on a, click on a wig or talk about a wig or use the word wig in any of your posts. And then all of a sudden, you're getting all these wig ads and they're not all legitimate. So you have to be super careful. I only endorse Wig Studio One. If you see another company using my face, photographs, video, likeness, name, it is not me. They do not have permission. Please report them and do not, whatever you do, do not buy from them. What you're going to get is a piece of trash that you're not gonna be able to wear. And so I don't know if it, it costs 19, 29, 39, 49 dollars. If you can't wear it, it's not worth it. Just to give you an update, the last time I did a little car vlog like this, um, I talked about the Maku CBD oil and I was gonna start taking that in the evenings for my insomnia and for my perimenopause complaints and things. And so I did, I, I started to take it and the, the effects were just a mild sedation, just a mild sedation. And I, I think it did relax me a bit, but it didn't help me get to sleep much quicker and it didn't help me stay asleep. I think that my type of insomnia, which is driven by low hormone in my system, I think that cannot be remedied with the CBD. Now, everybody's different. Everybody has a different biochemistry. The one thing that I have found that has helped me the most with my ins my perimenopause insomnia is uh, the Life Extension Liquid Melatonin. I have tried melatonin in the capsules. I've tried melatonin in the like dissolving tablets. And now I have tried it in the liquid. The capsules did nothing for me. I mean, I could take up to 10 milligrams and it still would not help. And that was discouraging. Now, there were some that dissolved under the tongue, but I felt like um, that might have helped a little bit, but taking it under the tongue and then ultimately having to chew it and stuff, 
I, I just didn't, I didn't care for that method. So I, I was watching YouTube. A doctor on YouTube had recommended this life extension melatonin that's, that was liquid. I take it right when I go down to bed. And I, I, I lay there, I get comfortable, and within 10 minutes, I'm turning off my iPad and, and falling asleep immediately. So definitely on the front end, I'm falling asleep more quickly. Now I still wake up during the night and that's a problem because I'm a very light sleeper now uh, because of this insomnia. But I wake up several times in the night and that's the problem with this insomnia is that you, you, you come awake, but you come, you become fully alert. Like you want to get up out of bed and start working, you know, that kind of alertness. Now what the melatonin will do, it won't prevent you from coming awake, but if you just shut your eyes, you can easily fall back to sleep as opposed to if I didn't take the melatonin. So I have had great results with my liquid melatonin and that is definitely on my list of things, my favorite things this past month. Wigs that I've been wearing recently, well, I'm wearing it now. This is the Caliente. I, ha I now have, I think, seven Calientes. I have a video coming up of five different Calientes. Um, they're all a little bit different, so you can definitely see a variance in this style from, from piece to piece. Caliente has been one of those where, you know, people insist that I got one that was pre-styled. The one that I received in the Root Beer Float Blonde that I reviewed was absolutely perfect. Everything about that Caliente was perfect right out of the box. It hasn't happened before and that hasn't happened since. Uh, this particular one, I needed to do some major work on. It didn't have much curl and pieciness to it. Um, it didn't have any contour at the front. So I had to use a hair dryer to put in a little bit of contour there at the front. And that's just my thing. So I create a parting space that I like. And then on either side of that parting space, I create a little bit of lift and contour. And then to accent and bring out the texture, I used a ton of Aesthetica's sea salt spray in this wig. I turned it upside down, I sprayed it, I let it dry, need some more. I think I did that three times. And finally, after it dried this last time, I feel like it has the texture that I want. So this one was not without its work, but I tell you that it's worth it. Well, I've chatted your ear off and I've barely drank any of my espresso. So I'm gonna do that now. And I hope you um, have a great day and keep watching lots of exciting new releases coming up on my channel and keep an eye out for my new studio. Okay, I could probably just chat your ear off um, all day long, but I'll cut it off now and big hugs and love ya. Bye.